Hello, this is Jeffrey Hunt for WhenTheCurvesLineUp.com. This is for the podcast for March 30th, 2024, where we're featuring a morning moon and Terry's conjunction. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 6.36 a.m. Central Daylight Time, followed by sunset at 7.15 p.m. In these podcasts, we relate our events from sunrise or sunset, so check your local sources for sunrise and sunset times in your area. In the morning sky, the gibbous moon approaches Antares in the pre-dawn sky. One hour before sunrise, the lunar orb, 77% illuminated, is over 20 degrees up in the south southwest. Look carefully for Antares, 2.4 degrees to the moon's upper left. The moon continues to approach the star and it covers or occults it. This occurs during the daytime and after the pair sets from the Americas. The occultation is fully observed for sky watchers in Micronesia and Polynesia. This is the ninth occultation in a series of 69 monthly events when the moon occults the star through August 27, 2028. The next one visible from the Americas occurs May 23rd for sky watchers in the southeastern U.S., Mexico, Central America, South America, and the Caribbean Basin. The event is ending when the moon rises in the American Midwest. Look at the moon in Antares through a binocular. Even though the moonlight may leave a temporary afterimage in your vision, Notice a small fuzzy cloud between the lunar orb and the star. This is a distant star cluster, cataloged as Messier 4. Return to this region when the moon is a crescent or not visible. The cluster is easy to find through a binocular, place Antares at the center of the field, and the cluster is nearby to the lower right. Through a telescope at modest magnifying powers of less than 100x, stars in the cluster become visible. Messier 4 is known as a globular star cluster, and this type generally revolves around the Milky Way galaxy outside the galactic plane. Unlike the Pleiades or Beehive star clusters that have hundreds of stars, globulars seem to be densely packed with thousands and thousands of stars. In the morning sky, This morning's planets are mostly in the growing twilight in the eastern sky. Mars rises 71 minutes before the sun. 30 minutes later, it is over 5 degrees up in the east-southeast and visible through a binocular. The sky is too bright to see the red planet at this time with your eyes alone. Saturn, gaining 2 minutes of rising time each morning, crosses the horizon 20 minutes after Mars rises. The sky is too bright to see Saturn when it is high enough for inspection with a binocular. Mars rises 30 minutes before sunrise, and 15 minutes later, it is less than 3 degrees above the horizon. Sky conditions are very unfavorable to see the morning star. In the evening sky, bright Jupiter is the easiest to see of the five bright planets. At 45 minutes after nightfall, the Jovian giant stands about 25 degrees above the western horizon. It is slowly moving eastward in front of Aries. Nearly 15 degrees to the upper left of Hamel, the ram's brightest star. Mercury, after its best evening appearance of the year, is departing the western sky. At this hour, it is over 7 degrees above the western horizon and over 20 degrees to Jupiter's lower right. Use a binocular to see the planet through the colorful layers of evening twilight. The planet is dimming each evening, and it is not visible to the unassisted eye. Mercury aficionados can catch it in bright evening twilight for about another week. Aim the binocular at Jupiter. When the planet is placed near the center of the field, a few of its largest moons are visible. Then move the Jovian giant toward the bottom of the field. Use the accompanying chart in the online article 
to, to identify Rho Aries to Jupiter's upper right. The star is inside a triangle of three dimmer stars. Delta Aries is toward the upper right edge of the field. Look for the stars 53 and 54 to Delta's lower left. Delta and 54 are about the same color. Star 53 is bluish. Then place 53 near the center of the field. Uranus, brighter than stars 53 and 54, is about one-third of the way from 53 toward the field's upper left edge. A telescope with large magnifications is required to see the globe of the planet. Jupiter sets about three hours after sundown in the west-northwest. The moon rises tomorrow evening over five hours before sunrise. It is in the southern sky to the east of Antares during morning twilight.